North Korea kind of put my YouTube channel on the map. I spent four days in Pyongyang, North Korea back in 2017, and I made a video about my experience. North Korea. This is what we think North Korea is like, but how does it look and feel in real life? Within just a few days, it got over 10 million views between Facebook and YouTube, and it changed my life forever. All right, I'm about to run on the Pyongyang Marathon. This is gonna be great. <laughs> but that being said, there's no chance that I'll ever go back to North Korea. The controlled environment and the lack of freedom was gruesome, and the government-approved tour gave only a glimpse of what they wanted us to see, painting a skewed picture that didn't reflect the reality for the North Korean people. I consider myself very lucky to have survived North Korea and be able to tell the story, because we've all heard the awful things from other tourists who were detained and killed for unintentionally breaking laws. I've often thought about going back to North Korea because A, I have a soft spot for Korean culture after living and teaching English there for two years. I love you, teacher. <laughs> and B, nothing gets my adrenaline pumping hotter than a place that everyone is scared to visit. But the reality is, I'll never go back, and here are four reasons why. Number one, I'm probably on someone's death list. Over the years, I've made many videos about North Korea where I give honest reviews of the country, sharing my thoughts about the cult that surrounds the leadership. Right now, behind me, you can hear all of the singers and dancers preparing for Kim Il-sung's birthday, which is in a few days. I'm pretty sure that Kim Jong-un and his posse have seen my video, and therefore, I might be caught and persecuted if I return. I've also interviewed countless North Korean defectors, such as Yeonmi Park, who is the most famous and outspoken refugee of them all. Kim Jong-un is a complete terror. He's a complete evil man that knows and still doing that to another human and imposing that much pain. All he is ruling over is terror. So after all the viral videos, it's probably a good idea if I stay clear of Pyongyang unless I have a death wish. Number two, I got detained at the North Korean border. Just a few weeks before the war broke out in Ukraine, I shot a video in Siberia and ended up in the bizarre town of Vladivostok. It just so happens that it's close to the 11 kilometer strip of land that borders North Korea. So I decided to scope it out to see what's really going on there. Looking back, it wasn't the best idea because hours later, I found myself detained by the police who wanted to know what I was doing there and even accused me of being a spy. So they took me in the police car by, by myself uh, and I, they took me into this building that looked like a, like a, like a beat down abandoned school. And then through Google Translate, uh, the guy says, you are now being uh, detained and must go back to the US and I was like, God, what is going on? No joke guys, this was the scariest moment of my life and I honestly thought it was the end. But luckily, the authorities accepted my apology and made me sign 30 papers that if I was ever caught again at the border, I would face severe consequences. I can't believe that just happened. If I was already on the North Korean list, well I guess I'm double on the list now. Number three, I do not support the regime. This one might sound obvious, but it's worth speaking out against a government that violates its citizens on the regular and also takes pride in disrupting global peace. Rocket threats and promises of nuclear war, as well as the denial of simple freedoms like speech, make North Korea the most hostile and isolated country on Earth. Kim Jong-un continues to foster a culture of fear and conformity. Public executions are carried out for minor offenses, and the systemic starvation of North Korean people is horrific. While I'm passionate about visiting countries that are dangerous, the way that North Korea treats its people is heartbreaking, and I don't want anything to do with that kind of evil. Number four, all Americans are officially banned. Get this, just a few months after I returned home safely from North Korea, all Americans became banned from visiting. This move followed the tragic case of Otto Warmbier, a young American who was detained for stealing a poster off a wall in the same hotel that I stayed in, and he fell into a coma during his long detention in Pyongyang. When I went, monuments and propaganda posters were everywhere, promoting the ruling family as godlike figures. I did have the opportunity to interact with locals, but our conversations were monitored. Where do you want to go? Everywhere, including United States. Why? I wanted to show our hearts to help the understanding about Okay. It felt like my every step was being watched. The fact that I was American meant that everyone had to be on their best behavior so that I would never see the real cruelty that happens in everyday life. Clearly, the American ban is a result of strained relations with no clear end in sight. So even if I tried to go back to North Korea with my US passport, it's literally impossible. When I look back, going to North Korea highlighted the contrast between my own freedoms and the restricted lives of its citizens. It made me realize that my mission of going there and connecting with people and telling 
human stories might not align with this cult-like society. As a traveler and storyteller, my ultimate goal is to bridge gaps and promote peace. I try my best to foster understanding and show the beauty of other cultures around the world. Unfortunately, North Korea's political climate makes these goals almost impossible to achieve, even if I could go. But I do encourage everyone to continue seeking knowledge about the world around us. Let's engage in meaningful conversations, challenge our perspectives, and work towards a world where freedom and human rights are respected for all. So there you have it, four reasons why I will never be going back to North Korea. I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. What do you think about North Korea? Would you go if you could? Have you ever been? I'm gonna be reading and responding all day long and I can't wait to hear from you guys. Stay tuned for more epic stories from every country around the world and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.